What's up YouTube, I'm Jack, this is Jack Reacts, and today y'all we have a video that I'm so excited for. Today we got Nas One Love, and it is also produced by Q-Tip. So one of, if not my favorite MCs of all time, produced by one of, if not my favorite producers of all time. I really couldn't be much more excited for this man, so I'm not gonna talk too long. Got the lyrics put up, let me know what I missed in the comments, y'all know the drill. But let's go ahead and get right into it. Uh oh. Feel like you running from the cops. Yeah. Freeze, motherfucker! Oh my god! Get down now! Yeah! Damn. Come on! Thinking. Give me a reason. Give me a reason. Got you now. Remind me of Ice T in uh, New Jazz City. Yo, son, son, niggas be fronting in the day room, man. What's that same kid I splashed with the phone? I'm gonna take that kid to sleep, man. When we get back, it's on. Yo, 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 yo. Letter got from my man Nas, man. You got a letter from Nas, yo. Tell us what it say, man. Okay, write him a letter. What up, we got What up, kid? I know this is rough doing your bit. When the cops came, you should have slid to my crib. It's off black, no time for looking back is done. Plus, congratulations, you know you got a son. I heard he looks like you. What don't your lady write you? Damn. Mm. Wow. Hold on, hold on. Let me go to pause it right there. Yeah, so already Nas is on that storytelling tip on this one. Uh, I knew as soon as the, with the video, they open up the scene with the guy in prison getting the letter from Nas. He goes, yo, I got this letter from Nas. I knew he was about to tell the story. So yeah, dude went to prison. I don't know exactly what he went in for. But this part kind of got me right here. This one line, Nas said, plus congratulations. You know you got a son. I heard he looks like you. Why don't your lady write you? And the reason why that gave me chills a little bit is because he says it so casually. Like, plus, by the way, you got a son. And he says it casually like that because this happens all the time this isn't a unique story and it's messed up but it's a sad truth that happens all the time especially in america but then he just follows it up saying why don't your lady write you and it turns out she's messing with whoever that dude's enemies are so he's just getting it bad all around i was like yeah shorty don't care she a snake too messing with the crumbs from that fake crew that hate you Damn. but yo guess who got shot in the dope piece jerome's niece on her way home from jones beach is mm. plus little rob is selling drugs on the dime hanging out with young thugs that all carry nines and nighttime is more tripe than ever what up with poor mega did you see him or y'all together if mm. so roll a foot down represent to the fullest say what's up to herb ice and bullet i left for half a hundred in your commissary you was mm. right when push came Wow. Okay, and Q-Tip on the hook too. Shout out to him for this beat too. Beat is nasty. A little xylophone sample. Mm. Mad as hell. Yeah, let me go ahead and pause right there before we get into the next verse. I wanted to point that out. I just don't want to talk on the track. But you see how he's reading the letter. He's just mad as hell, but he can't do anything about it. It's very haunting listening to this and watching the video. It reminds me a little bit of the feeling I got when I did Lice a Bitch with him and AZ. Nas has a very realistic, cynical, I guess you could say, outlook on life. I would say more realistic. One line that stuck out to me, he says, Say what's up to Herb, Ice, and Bullet. And I don't know who Herb, Ice, or Bullet are, but that doesn't matter matter the point is he has multiple friends or family in prison in this system and to me that line highlights this cycle that when you're from a certain neighborhood or you're of a certain minority you really get pushed into this trap this endless vicious cycle and i think he's really highlighting that in this song and not glorifying it either he's really painting a real picture it's not like oh you know he was selling drugs or he's a gangster and he goes in prison and holds his own it's like it starts off with him going in prison. It doesn't even show the, the, the life before that. And I really like that decision by Nas because it allows you to really focus on this issue in hand, which makes it that much more impactful. Let's get back to it. Thank you too. Dear boy, you'll be out soon, 
Y'all stay strong Out in New York The same thing is going on The crackhead stalking Loud mouths is talking Ho, check out the story Yesterday when I was walking The kid mm. get shot last year Try to appear like he hurt something Word him up I heard him fronting And he be pumping mm. on your block Your man gave him your block And now they run together What up son, whatever Since I'm on the streets I'ma put it to a cease But I heard you push a body With an ox for the phone piece While it on the alley mm. But now when Elmira Better chill Cause the life is real Put that ass on fire Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. He said, last time you wrote, you said they tried you in the showers. Damn. And I know that's like one of the biggest stereotypes in prison is like the whole drop the soap and you better watch yourself. I think that's one of the biggest corruptions in prison. And I know it's a stereotype and maybe it doesn't happen as much or maybe it's exaggerated. I don't care. Okay. It's definitely happened before. That's for sure. And that's crazy to me that that's just a, a known thing and no one really does anything about that. I think that really goes to show the corruption of the prison system especially in america because i mean you could go in for something you didn't even do like you might be innocent you go in prison and you get tried in the showers and it's like your whole life is ruined and you didn't even do anything even if you did do something though like you rob someone you're going to prison for that you're not going to prison and getting raped for that you know what i mean that that's crazy to me besides that one line though this whole verse the verse before that is master class storytelling from nas definitely the best i heard from him definitely were and we're not even halfway through the song the corners, hours on the reels. all these crap crews know the deal when we start the revolution all they probably do is well, but chill. See you on the next VI. I gave you my Duke's loop from kicks plus since of flicks. Your brother's mm. pump wildin' in four main. He won't me. He might be this case and he come over and play a low key. So stay mm. civilized, time flies, no incarcerated your mind down. Uh. When your mom's drop, it kinda makes me wanna murder. For real, I even got a mask and gloves to bust slugs for one love. Damn. Those little rhyme schemes at the end there, that sequence was crazy. I love the melancholy feeling of the beat. It's not happy, it's not sad, it's somewhere in between. Sometimes I sit back with a book that minds in another world, thinking how can we exist through the facts. Written in school textbooks, Bibles, etc. I like how the sample went away. The lives get me vexed up. So I be ghosts for my projects. I take my pen and pad for the weekend while I'm sleeping. A two day stay. You may say I need a time alone to relax my dome. No phone left the night at home. You see, you stress something terrible. Dealing with the corners, have a guard up in Bellevue at HDM. Hit with numbers from eight to ten. A future in a maximum state pen. It's grim, so I comes back home. Nobody's out with shorty do I roll two ops together in the bridge. We call them ops He said, nah, somebody call me busting off the roof. So I wear a bulletproof, a bag of black trade deuce. He inhaled so deep, shut his eyes like he was sleep, started coughing. When I peeked to watch him speak, I sat back like the Mac. My army suit was black. We was chilling on these bitches where he pumped his loose. I took the and when he passed it, this little bastard keeps me blasted. It starts talking madness. I had to school him, told him, don't let brothers fool him. Cause when the pistol blows, the one that's murder be the cool one. Tough luck with families. Man, he said, because when the pistol blows, the one that murdered be the cool one. That That's too hard right there. And I like how he's talking to the kid, because before that, he's like, I got to school him. And he's talking to the kid who he was talking about in the beginning of the video, getting caught up in that gang activity at a very, very young age. Too young. Yeah. Bust up at the crowd, catch him solo, make the right man bleed. Shorty's laugh was cold blooded as he spoke so foul. Only 12 trying to tell me that he liked my style. Then I rose, wiping up his ass from my clothes and froze. Only to blow the earth smoke through my nose. Man, what? Man, I'm a ghost, I broke. Left some shoes in his store that he could sell if he chose. Words of wisdom from Nas, try to rise up above. Keep an eye out for Jake, Shorty, wop one love. Ugh. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. It's too much, man. In the perfect instrumental. Couldn't have picked a better beat um, for the message he was speaking over this. Shout out to Q-Tip. I even loved his chorus too, even though he was just saying one love over and over. 
as far as storytelling and lyrics goes, this is without a doubt the best I've seen from Nas. Without a doubt. He hit every aspect of MCing flawlessly. The storytelling, and I'm not even talking about Nas, might be the best I've heard on the channel. His flow was crazy. His rhyme schemes. Also, and I know this is a little detail, but the way he would switch his tone, like when he was speaking from the perspective of other people, little details like that are what take these verses to the next level. He can really paint a picture unlike anyone else. This one line right here, I was meaning to touch on it, but I don't want to speak over the track. He said he inhaled so deep shut his eyes like he was asleep started coughing one eye peaked to watch me speak if you close your eyes and listen to that you can picture exactly what he's talking about besides Pac for me personally and i'm biased just because i love Pac. i don't know of anyone else who can paint a picture like that so shout out to Nas, man thank you to all of you as well though i really had a great time doing this this was like a mind workout which is good it's good to learn and gain knowledge that's one of the many reasons why i love doing this youtube so much that being said that is it for this video and if y'all like this one please make sure to like subscribe turn on notifications Occasions, if you haven't already and comment any requests down below i will get to them as soon as possible and if you'd like to further support me you could check out my patreon link and bio your support means the world i cannot express it enough but y'all have a blessed day blessed night whatever part of the world you're watching this in and peace